Over the last couple evenings, I've been spending a lot of time getting the trailer prepped for paint on the floor, so I've got it all sanded down. We'll take a look inside here and uh, show you the progress. I used a small belt sander with an uh, 80 grit belt, and then I didn't completely strip it. I just uh, knocked off a lot of the loose stuff and then took it down a little bit more. And then once I had it done with the 80 grit, then I went back over it with uh, 120 grit. So it's fairly smooth surface and I went to Home Depot today and had a gallon of paint mixed up. I've got gray frost right there. It's a gallon of Glidden Premium exterior paint and it's a uh, semi-gloss. So I'm pretty sure I'll probably have to apply two coats. So I'm totally prepared to spend the time to do that. Got a little heater in here. I've been running that this morning to get everything warmed up in here. What I'm gonna do is start with a brush and go around the perimeter of the trailer. I taped this off a few nights ago. I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but if you look along the floor, there's two rows of screw holes. That was what was used to screw down the E-track to the floor. After I painted the floor, I started doing a bunch of thinking and overthinking and evaluating on how I was going to use the trailer for hauling motorcycles. And I decided to not reuse the E-track. So I later ended up taking some wood filler putty and filled in all of those little holes from the E-Track and then uh, decided to use some L-Track instead. And then I also installed a new wheel chalk further towards the back of the trailer so that the motorcycle wasn't blocking access through the side door. This color that I picked is several shades lighter than what was in here. I have this little pour spout that works really good. It just uh, snaps into the top of the paint can. And I don't want to do it right there. I'm going to end up with a mess. This piece of cardboard is covering up the hole in the floor where the flush mount motorcycle tie down or motorcycle wheel chalk was in place. This just keeps the rim of your can clean for reinstalling the lid. So I'll pour a bunch of paint in there. My game plan is to start at the back of the trailer and work my way forward. I really like this little cheap roller with the built-in shield. I am just about done with my first coat here. I've got the t floor totally painted and my L-Track is bolted down. I used some long stainless steel wood screws, which is the same screws that uh, this track was held down with in my other trailer. I still need to pull up that paper that's taped to the walls and I mounted another motorcycle chalk. This chalk here works really good but I didn't like the fact that it was all the way forward. That made getting in and out of the trailer difficult when the motorcycle was in here. <laughs> 